Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. Welcome to Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry invite you to receive your deliverance of salvation, breakthroughs, deliverance from bad dreams, military problems, business failure, evil family pattern, poverty, witchcraft, and any form of attacks, any form of attacks. Therefore, Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry is a ministry of deliverance and healing. That's why the Bible says in the book of Matthew 9, verse 35 to 36, the Bible says, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when they saw the multitudes, he was moved and with the compassion of them, because they fainted and they were scattered abroad as sheep, as sheep having no shepherd. So Jesus was going to villages and cities. That's why I'm coming to your home. I'm coming right now to your village, to your home, to your working place, everywhere. I am there. So uh, Jesus himself did did so, so he, he told me to go to, to, to go to your house and preach the gospel. So I'm coming to your house. I'm right now in your house. In fact, I'm on, 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 on your sitting room. I'm on your living room. I'm on your bedroom. I am in everywhere right now. As you hear this word, as you hear this message, how Jesus was so good and how he was preaching the gospel and he was going to every village and cities and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. So the, 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 my topic today is the prayer that will destroy the work of the devil. I'm going to read for you the scripture and see how Jesus was destroying the work of the devil. I'm going to read from the book of Acts 10, verse, verse, verse that 8. Acts 10, verse that, that, that 8. Let me pray before we start. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this message. I thank you for everyone that who has come to listen to me. I thank you, Father. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, welcome. Holy Spirit, I welcome you to take over. This is your meeting, Spirit of the living oh God. Take over now in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I suck myself with the blood of Jesus. I throw a walk the blood of Jesus. I pray for everyone who is listening to this prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray that God let open their ears and heart to receive your word, God. Anyone who is affected with the sickness and the diseases, because God, you were going every city and village to heal the, the sick people and set them free, to destroy the works of the devil. Therefore, Lord Jesus, I pray that even, even now, you are the same today and forever. You are the same Jesus who delivered, who, de who, who, who heals and who, who delivered your people. Right now, I come to you and I ask you to come to our, to come to our, our, the lives of those people who are listening to this, uh, to this prayer in the name of Jesus to touch their lives. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I'm going to read from the book of Acts 10, verse 8. The Bible says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and the power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. So Jesus was going around and healing the, the sick people who were, were under the power of the devil. You see, sickness, it is the, the power of the devil. Sickness are under the power of the devil. There is no sickness that can come to you uh, from God. What I know is that God does not own sickness. It is the devil who owns the sickness. But when God says that he will take the sickness and give to the enemy, Therefore, that's what he knows that the enemy, who is the devil, he will take his sickness and keep it. So, uh, I am going to talk about this, not even sickness only, any problem you are facing. That, that problem is the problem of the devil. The owner is there, who is called the devil. So, and uh, I'm 
Uh, uh, let's look in the book of uh, John, Matthew, Matthew, uh, John 14, verse 12. The Bible says, Anyone who has faith in me would do what I have been doing. He would do even greater things than even this because I'm going to the Father. So, God, Lord Jesus, is saying that if you have faith, if you have faith, you will do great things. You will do big, big, big things than what Jesus did. So Jesus is telling us, as long as we believe in him, we will do great things. We will speak to the sickness. We will speak to the problem, and it will die. It will fly. It will go in the name of Jesus. You see, Jesus was healing sickness, different sickness, sickness problems upon problem. Jesus was setting people free. So now he's giving us authority, saying that if we believe in him, we will do great things. So what, what, what do you have? You believe in him and remove that mountain that is facing you in the name of Jesus. In the book of Matthew 11, verse 12, the Bible says, From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advanced and men lay hold on it. In, uh, men hold on it. Another scripture says, New King James says, or I, I and he, it says, the kingdom of God suffered violent and defiant people taken by force. Therefore, I believe, my friends, I believe that the, the kingdom of God has been violated so much. The kingdom of God suffered, 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 suffered so much. Therefore, since the kingdom was, of God suffered from the days of John the Baptist until now, which means the kingdom of God was being suffered from the time of John the Baptist until now, until the time Jesus came, until now. So the fire and people will take by force. So you have to take by force any problem that you are facing today. You will command that, that problem to, to be destroyed. You have to call fire Guaraja to burn down that problem in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. My God, I bless your name. I give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. The Bible is saying that we have to be violent. That's why we need to pray with the violent and aggressive. Because the kingdom of God needs violent people. You cannot pray good prayers uh, uh, like you, you are good to the devil. You ask that because the word says you have faith and and, and, and I am praying that you have to fight the enemy. You have to speak the word and fight him. Don't let him to sit here, sit on you for a long time. And you have been praying the same prayers all the time. Today, open your mouth and scream and speak to the devil to get out of your life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Listen, the Bible says, in Luke 10, verse 19, I have given you authority to trumpet, to, to trample on snakes and scorpion to overcome all the powers of the enemies. I think King James talks, NIV doesn't say the way that I want it. I want, I want, I want. Let me look at the King James. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. That is Luke 19. Luke 10, verse 19. Uh, verse 19. The Bible says, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory in the name of Jesus. Yes. The Bible says, Here the Bible says, Behold, I have given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Remember, Jesus said that if you believe in him, if you believe in me, you will do great things. Great things. Here, you've been given authority to, to tread on serpents and scorpions. Serpents and scorpions, Sabbath is representing uh, the devil, the devil, and the and, and, and scorpion representing demons. Remember the devil who went to the Adam and Eve and deceived him. So now this devil 
is still working in, in the life of people, deceiving people, and the people are expecting uh, are accepting the diseases and they they, they are not the, the, the sickness, they lost their property, they say they want to live the way they are. But now you have been given authority over any power that is affecting your life to come against them and break them in the name of Jesus. Cast out and clean the spirit. Let's look at the book of Mark, 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 Matthew 10, verse 1, and casting out and clean the spirit, living in people. So Jesus was giving authority to cast out demons, living in people, because he himself was casting out the demons and healing the sick people. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. This is the only area we have directed confrontation with the evil spirit. It is the only area we have believers, authority forces, and any other role that works as a spirit of warfare involves our, our focus on God and doing our part of walking in obedience. The reason of the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Is to destroy the work of the reason why the Son of God came in this world is to destroy the power of the devil. The devil has been destroying many lives. People are suffering, are still suffering, forgetting that Jesus did not pay the price for them, forgetting that Jesus did not come for them. Jesus is the same today and forever. The reason why Jesus came is to destroy what you are going to do now. You don't have to go through what you are supposed to go. You don't have to go through what you are going. And Jesus has paid. You have cried enough. You have cried so much. You have cried everything you can. But nothing works for you. But today, today, as I'm speaking right now, I speak with authority. According to Luke 10, verse 19, that Jesus has told me. Now I'm taking this authority to come to you and speak the word in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, if you walk in love, if you repent and forgive your neighbors, forgive anyone in your sin, then you cannot have access of the enemy to accuse you or to have any legal ground into you. Sometimes you may be having sickness in your body, and the sickness is simple. Just forgive somebody. Forgive those people who are forgiven you. That sickness will go. But if you don't forgive anybody, then the sickness will keep staying there because you have given them legal, you have given them, you are housing them. The, the, the things you have, you have to look at it and maybe these things need a simple word and then it will go. But because you don't want to release it, then it has legal, it has, it has a house, it has a place to live. So therefore, my, my friend, you don't have to live such a life. Remember, Jesus is not a liar to lie. Remember, God is so faithful. Let man lie and let God not, let, let man lie and let God be true. Let, let the word of God become true in your life. There is no way you can live that, that such a life. You cannot. You can live with sickness, and Jesus has paid the price for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am the testimony. I am the living testimony, as I'm telling you. By today, I could be even locked in the in the, in the hospital whereby people who are mental challenging or people are sick and not come out because I was getting bad and I was feeling like I want to kill people. I want, I was feeling, sometimes I was feeling very violent. I just sit down and I feel like something is forcing me to scream or to do bad stuff. But thank God, when I remember God, I call upon him and he delivered me. Either I was in, I could have gone to prison or I could be dropped somewhere. But God who delivered me is the same God that who can deliver you. You don't have to face any trouble, any problem. He has called me. He has told me to speak on behalf of those people who are still being tormented. Day and night, they don't know what to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. I want to tell you that this Jesus is alive. Jesus is complete. He's alive. He never changed. He's alive. He will come to you and they rescue you. Anything you are facing today, you know your problem. Call me. My number is 647-608-5207. I am a deliverance minister. God has called me to speak the word of deliverance to people. And I, I will break those curses. I don't fear the devil because the devil wanted to kill me many times. I escaped so many dead. I, I, I can even account how many dead I dead that other people have gone and left me. I am not so special to live in this world today. I remember when 
we had a bomb blast in Nairobi, when we were bombed in Nairobi, American embassy. I was there and I, was, I escaped. I didn't die. Many people died, including the secretary that I was talking to. People were working there. They died. And me, I was escaped. Which means God has worked for me. What about car accident? Self, 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 self accident. I got so much accident. And people died. And me, I was left. Which means that God has a purpose for me. The, 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 until now, when, when, when this accident was defeated, now it, it, it came to attack me with sickness. To bring me down completely, to, 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 to destroy my head and, and destroy my life completely. Now, when I know what to do, I came to Jesus and I had to confront the devil. And I command him by the authority and the power. I prayed in my room. I prayed until God has to speak to me. And God sent angels to me and showed me this deliverance that I'm talking about. I didn't know anything about deliverance. I only knew about salvation and healing. But I didn't know there's deliverance. So, so there's a difference between salvation and healing and deliverance. So please, if you need prayers, maybe you have some stuff that is stubborn, doesn't want to go. You are a Christian many years. You've been a Christian. But, and you are in the church taking drugs, cooling down those high blood pressure, diabetic, cancer, those all deadly diseases, which, is, which belongs to the devil. Let me tell you that Jesus is able to deliver you today in the name of Jesus. In Psalms, in Psalms 18 verse 50, the, the, the Psalms 18 verse 50, the great deliverance he, he, he gives to his kings and the show must to his anointed to David and his descendant forever. So God has given you, has, has a great deliverance which he has given to you, to his children forever. Deliverance is act of setting free from every of every bondage. The bondage can be in the form of yoke, covenant, curses, spiritual chain, addiction, extra. Great deliverance can be said to have taken a place when you are genuinely delivered from sins and translated into the right of his dear son, Jesus Christ. That is the book of Colossians 1.13. You read that scripture by yourself. You receive what the Bible is saying in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against every agent of the devil. Carry your message to your sender and release the arrows you brought to, to this person against him in the name of Jesus, against him or her in the name of Jesus. I pray every agent of Satan, every agent of Satan, Carry your, your message, carry your sickness, carry your problem, carry your thing that you are putting in the life of this person and, and let them and, and cut them because it belongs to you and, let, and cut them in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that you have brought to this person, carry them, carry them. Anything you brought to this person, carry them and go with it, it is yours. I command them to go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, break the backbone bone and destroy the roots of every evil that speak against you. Holy Ghost fire, arise, destroy any giant, any spells, any incarnation, any voodoo, any obi, any witchcraft that is speaking against you, calling your name for evil. Holy Ghost fire, paralyze them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, paralyze them. Let witchcraft go down. In the name of Jesus, because they are so evil and wicked. Some of them, you are suffering because of them. You are affected because of them, and you don't know. You think, which crap are there, my dear? And they are working. Ignorance is a bad, bad disease. When you are ignorant, you are ignorant that the, the, the witchcraft is not there. It is there, and it's working. So we come against those spirits. We come against, I come against the spirit of witchcraft. Chanting spells against your name, against you. Let that sickness go back to the sender. The poverty, the, the problem you are facing, they have the honor. I command them to go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. I break every curse that they are brought to you in the name of Jesus. I command Jesus and the witchcraft and the, and the wizard to be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. Therefore, I am not afraid of cursing them and command them to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. 
When Jesus said destroyed, it means dead. It is meant to be, they have to be, they, they can't live again. They, they, they completely, if something has been destroyed, it doesn't have life. It is completely destroyed. You cannot recognize again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I am speaking to this woman who has been crying from her problem. Problem could be the children, could be your, your husband, could be your wife. The, the problem you are forcing today, maybe you are looking for a job. You've been working, working, but you have nothing. You, you have nothing to sow. Maybe you've been, you've been, you don't have money. You have, you, you wonder what is going on with my life. I, I don't have money. I can't work. I don't have a job. What can I do? There's nothing you can do, child of God. Jesus Christ will give you a job. Jesus is the owner of everything. Remember, it's the owner of silver and gold. Jesus Christ is the same today and forever. He doesn't fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you and I bless your name. I pray that this person who is looking for a job, I pray God give him a job. Give him that position. In the name of Jesus, I pray Jesus will get the, location, the, the, the job. Any, 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 any witch, any, any wizard, Anyone, there's power behind you that has power that you can't get a job. There's a demon behind you holding you, holding your position. When you are about to get the job, someone has given and you, they say, sorry, we don't, we don't need you. Or you are being fired. You have good certificate, but you can't get a job. That's the work of the devil. That's the work of the enemy. That is witchcraft. You have to come against that spirit and break them in the name of Jesus. Even ancestors, the ancestors. Uh, ancestral generational curses, this generation, the, the generational curses, this ancestral that is following you, and and and, and that they, they can't they can't let you have anything. Those generational curses, those generational curses, we need to break them in the name of Jesus. This inherited problem that is coming from first, second, third generation. Jesus has paid them all. We need to pronounce them and cross them in the name of Jesus. If something is not right with you, don't worry. Call me. My number is 647-608-5207. Call me. I will go with you and give you prescription. This is Dr. Christine Isigi. I am here to, 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 to be, to, I, I am here. I want you to be, to be my, uh, my, I want you to be my, my, I, I want to help you. I want to help you. And I am here as your pastor. I want to become your pastor. I want to become your pastor. If you are looking for a pastor, somebody to talk to, I am here for you. You call me, I will answer, and I will come for you. If you you can, if you don't have a long distance call, email me. Email overcomers bhm at gmail dot com. Overcomers, where this 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 this, this uh, message is. The address is there. You can get it. Or write Christine Isigi. Right? Gog me. Gog me. Gog me. Christine Isigi. And go to my website. Our website is www.overcomers. DHM. DH Ministries. Dot com. So if you can get me. You at least you will get me. You can't miss me. In the name of Jesus, I know that you've been looking somebody to talk to, or you need a pastor to minister to you. Maybe your your church is a big big congregation. Yet the pastor cannot reach you. The pastor has been flying and going ups and down. He can't talk to you. He can't he can't or she can't reach you. But here, here I am I, as your pastor. I will call you. Call me. I will call you. No matter. How big it is, I will reach you. Don't don't fight your battle alone. Where two or three are gathered in his midst, he is there. Let's agree together and we, we war against this power, against the enemy that is affecting your life. Let us pray together and let us come together to fight the enemy. Where there is two or three in, in the midst, Jesus is there. Don't be a wrong child of God. When you listen to this message, and you feel you are so lonely, call me. I will answer you. Even if I can't, I can't call right, you right away, but you will get the, the call at least. I will call you. 
I will talk to you and I will call you. Even if I call you, I talk to you five minutes, at least I will talk to you and tell you what to do in the name of Jesus. So I will give you, I will schedule you time and then we can work out and, and see how I can help you through the help of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. God bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus. Call me. My number again is 647-608-5207. Call me. I am here waiting for your call in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you and God bless you. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. I love you, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I love you. So I told you that I don't read things you've been writing. I'm sorry, maybe some you wanted to ask something. Because I don't see, see, I don't know what happened with the cell phone or the iPad. I don't see. So please forgive me that I was not able to talk to you. But I know yeah, this, this thing sometimes I don't know what I did. So I'm sorry for that. Hallelujah. Praise be, praise be the name of Jesus. Yes. Welcome my friends. This is uh, your host, Dr. Christine Isigi, saying bye-bye. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Those who tried to contact with me, I was not able to see. I told you before that I don't see these things. I don't, even now, I don't see anything. I don't see. So God bless you so much. Please give me hearts. Give me hearts. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Hmm. God is good. Hallelujah. I have to connect my cell phone. It's when I can see. I can see you. If I don't use the cell phone, then I can't see what you are writing. God bless you so much. The enemy is a liar. The devil is a liar. But Jesus, he came to destroy his work. So people of God... You are, you are not going to live any under any bondage anymore. Jesus has set you free, and you are free, free indeed, in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Bye.